Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this video I will show you how you can create multi-line UI labels. So let's get started. Great, we are going to create some multi-line uh, UI labels. Now, before Swift 4, this was quite a huge problem and you had to find some workarounds to do this. But as of Swift 4, I believe, or Swift 4.1, this is easy to do with multi-line string literals. So let's create a new Xcode project. So I will uh, create a new Xcode project here. We just size this so you may see this as usual. Let's create a single view application and let's name this pretty straightforward. Now let's click on next and let's drop it onto the desktop. I will create a Git repository on my Mac. And of course you can, as always, take a look at the uh, full source code on a GitHub, okay? Uh, let's delete the main.storyboard as usual. These are all usual stuff. If you are familiar with my channel, then you know what I'm doing right now. This is the basic stuff that I do always. So let's create uh, our view controller. Let's add our view controller to the Windows root view controller in the application did finish launching with options right now. So type in a window equals UI window, a window, make key and visible. So let's create a view controller here equals our view controller that Xcode made us from our template. And now let's set our Windows root view controller and that will be our view controller. Okay, pretty great. Now let's go into our uh, view controller and set our, let's say, background color. Let's uh, select our iPhone XR and build and uh, run. So we may see a purple background. How interesting is uh, that? Well, at least we know that everything is working and it is set up correctly. So here is our uh, phone starting up. And here we have our purple view controller. Uh, great. Now we want to uh, add a label here. So, uh, uh, and we want to position it into the center. And for positioning, uh, for easy auto layout, I will use tiny constraints. So let's close this because we are going to add tiny constraints via CocoaPods. So open up terminal here. Great. Let me make those little uh, larger so you may see and type in CD and a space go to your finder and select your root multi-line label folder okay and drag that in and hit return now let's create our uh, pod file by typing in pod in it hit return again there you go here we have our pod file let's open our pod file, I will just drag and drop it into our Xcode icon here. Let's select platform to be iOS 12 because um, I have just checked. Tiny Constraints is uh, Swift 4.2 compatible. How awesome is that? So let's type in pod. I believe that's how it is spelled out. We will just find out. Okay, let's close that out and type in pod install. So we are going to create our uh, Xcode workspace and installing our pod. That is great. We are ready to go. Now let's open up our multi-line multi label Xcode workspace. Let's go back to our view controller. Here we are. Okay, let's first create a label. Now, what we want to do is set the background color, not purple, but white. 
Now, next we want to add our labels. So add sub uh, view. We want to add this to our view. Add sub view multi-line label. And let's import uh, tiny constraints. Uh, we might as well give it a command B. So let's build and run it. And here we have some uh, errors, but I am sure that tiny constraints, uh, the owner will uh, create uh, these uh, fixes. So I just fix this, unlock it. Most probably you will not have uh, this issue in the near future. So let's go back. And I believe this should be, be tiny. Let's build and run again. So I will just delete this command B and it is building and build has succeeded. Now let's import tiny constraints. Here it is, tiny constraints. So uh, with tiny constraints, our multi-line neighbor should be center in super view. And that's how easy it is to center our label into our, into its super view. Great. Now, uh, what do we want to add next? Well, this is a white background view with a white label. So first of all, let's create, let's set our labels, background color to, let's say, black. And let's set the label text font text color to be white. And let's set our labels font to be a little larger so you may see what actually happens. So UI font and let's make it a bold system font of size 45. That will be a great. Now, uh, what we usually would do and to add some text is and i will just make this a little bit more up so let's add a new function so um, set score okay and let's pretend that this is a score label so func set score and what we usually do is set multi-lined label dot text equals and we type in score equals 100. Okay, so let's build and run and see what we have now and we will take it from there. Of course, this is a single line uh, text. Okay, now let's uh, pretend that we want to have the label score, well, the text score on top and be, uh, below that, 100. So what do we do? And we want it in a whole, uh, in, in one label. Well, first of all, let me just show you the syntax. So there is these three quotation marks and three again. Now, if I type in here score and 100, it would do the same Thing. So uh, let's check that out. Okay, same thing. Now, what if I add, want to add a new line? Well, this is pretty simple and I will just delete this uh, so you may see score and under it 100. Let's build and run again and see the magic happen. Okay, where is the 100? Well, you first need to set the label to have multi-line compatibility. So what I want you to do is type in label and number of lines equals zero. Now zero means that indefinite. You can have one, two, three or four. If you do know how many lines you want exactly to use, if you type in zero, then you can have as many lines as you wish. So let's build and run with command R again and see the real magic happen. There you go, score 100. Of course, you could uh, add here, and I will just type it out so you may uh, uh, have this text alignment equals dot center, center, autocorrect, and it's a much 
uh, good, more good looking uh, way of showing the score. But I will omit this now because I want to show you something interesting. What if I want to add uh, indentation? Okay, that is pretty simple too. So let's build and run again and see how this score looks right now. And we will add an indentation for the actual score 100. Well, the second line in this multi-line label. So what you want to do is make sure that these ending quotations uh, have R, R at the beginning of what you want to type in. So score is at the beginning. Now, if I, let's say, add four spaces, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's see what happens then. I'm sure you already have guessed it, but you will see. As you can see, I have added four spaces. Great, now that is for indentation. Now, what if I want to add new lines or, or uh, empty lines? Well, we can do that too. So it's pretty simple. Let's add three empty lines. As you can see, we can add at the beginning, inside the text or at the end. So let's build and run again here and see how easy uh, that is. Okay, great. Now, what if I have a lot of lot of text and I want to have it, um, let's say, uh, in one line, but I still want to have uh, this phenomenon of having multi-line label uh, with these three quotation marks. Well, it is pretty simple. You just add a space because score, uh, let's add in these and a space and you just have to add a, a, a slash, okay? A forward slash, I believe that's what it's called. Hit Command R and see the magic happening. Okay, you omitted one line. <laughs> I guess you didn't uh, see that coming. So let's delete this one. As you can see, they are on separate lines, but now the score and the 100 will be present on a single line. Great, we have uh, come where we have started off. Well, that is it for multi-line string, uh, strings and multi-line labels. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and give your comments down below. I'm always interested in your opinion of what should I do next. And of course, if you want to see more videos of me showing all of these awesome iOS techniques, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you may be the first one who watches when I upload a new video. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and let me know if you have ever used this kind of multi-line labels in your app. If you haven't, then I'm so glad that I could teach you this uh, awesome technique. Go ahead and comment down below. And as always, I will see you in the next one.